I tested it by trying to use the Pose library in Blender. Since the Pose library is a function that can be used in the Bone system, proceed with a simple Bone setup. After creating arms and legs with a simple IK system, use the symmetry function to create the opposite arms and legs. After selecting the bones that will be used as IK controllers, press Alt plus P to unparent them. In pose mode, select the bone to be used as the IK controller first, select the bone to which the IK system will be applied, and press the Shift I key to apply the IK system. Limit the chain link to 2, so you can control each arm and leg. In edit mode, select the bones of one arm and leg, right-click and choose auto-rename. Then click the right mouse button again to symmetrize. If you check it in pose mode, you can see that the IK settings of the left arm and leg are duplicated with the right arm and leg applied. Now add a grease pencil object to draw the body, arms, and legs. This time, I was going to look at the pose library function. So I tried to look at the pose library function right after bone system setup, but in that case, the preview function was not supported, so I added a grease pencil object. Since the preview function in the pose library reflects the camera view, change the camera view to make it easier to see the action. Press the N key in the viewport and press the Create Pose Asset button in the Pose Library in the Animation tab. Then, you can check the Created Pose in the Pose Library tab and the Asset Browser tab. Create a new pose, and create additional poses. Since it is symmetrized, if you set the pose of the left leg and check the flip pose, the right leg can also use the pose of the left leg. If you left-click on the thumbnail of the pose and drag left and right, you can easily get in between poses between each pose. There are some parts that are definitely better than before but there are still a lot of parts that I have to get used to.